It's Monday morning, and despite the COVID-19 pandemic, thousands of college students across the state are waking up on campus in residential dorms ready to start the day. Wake up around 9 a.m., make sure that my laptop is charged, get ready for class, whether it's in person or it's on Zoom. For LaSalle University senior Tyreek Robinson, the decision to return to this Newton campus was a no-brainer. I'm from Connecticut, and obviously being in college, you have that independence. So going back home to live with my mom was a little bit of a shock. LaSalle gave us the three options, whether to be fully online, to be a commuter, or to be fully on campus. I love this place, and I couldn't imagine not being here for any longer. The biggest change with the virus, we're not allowed to have any visitors in our dorms, but they've set up multiple tents around campus. There are plenty of places that we can hang out outside. Rising cases at local colleges sending kids packing early for break. College students have made headlines for flouting COVID-19 restrictions. Robinson argues those students represent a small minority. Students may get a little antsy, but a majority of the students here understand how serious this is. Just weeks ago, watching the memorial in Washington for the 400,000 lives that we've lost, we can't put ourselves before that. Robinson has personal reasons to stay safe as well. His mother is a cancer survivor. When he is home, he lives with her in housing reserved for people over 55. I'm the youngest occupant by 30 years, so I had to take it as serious as possible because it's not just my mom in the building that was at risk. Protecting his community went a step further in 2020 when Robinson and his mother, an avid sewer, decided to fight back. She just started banging out masks. She probably made over 500 of them. So I decided that I was gonna bring the masks to Hartford Hospital because that was the least I could do. Trying to help all of these healthcare professionals and people that are trying to fight this virus. As for his own mask. I always rocked the mom originals because it doesn't get better than that for me. For LaSalle University President Michael Alexander, it doesn't get much better than his daily walks with his pooch, Lady Di. LaSalle was founded in 1851 with the idea of creating a liberal arts foundation with professional training on top of that. That philosophy was particularly effective in the fall of 2020. We were fortunate in that we've been doing online instruction here since 2005, and our faculty were experienced at it, so I think that went more smoothly than a lot of places did. A smooth transition was also in place for students participating in the university's full year work study program, LaSalle Works. They already had jobs and they were going to attend online anyway, so for them it was smooth sailing. Alexander credits the students and staff for following the rules in order to keep their campus open and safe. Wearing masks, staying physically distant, washing your hands frequently. Technology also played a big role. Students and faculty are tested weekly and digitally cleared to attend class. I just got tested myself half an hour ago. You can see this is what it looks like, cleared. As evening falls, Tyreek Robinson trades Zoom meetings for fastballs. As a member of LaSalle's NCAA Division III baseball team. I'm hoping to have the baseball season. Being a senior, it's something that I've looked forward to for a long time, just to play that kind of last final competitive year of baseball. That is a sentiment second year coach Billy Uberti understands well. I played here, so it's very good to be back home. Our athletic training staff does a great job. Right now we're in pods. We're only allowed 25 in the gym at a time. We have a roster of 37. So, you know, it just takes a lot of organization. Student athletes here are tested three times a week to prepare for a season that isn't guaranteed. So Uberti's focus is day to day. Our saying is push the rock, try to accomplish your goal of the day, and then wake up tomorrow and do the same thing. The team hopes to compete for a championship this year, but Robinson has found something more valuable. Even if we don't have a season, the fact that I've met so many amazing guys during my years here, I have 35 brothers for the rest of my life. LaSalle University truly promotes lifelong learning with both a daycare and elder living facility on campus. Residents of the latter, LaSalle Village, are offered continuing education classes. The income from those two facilities helps to reduce college costs for students and creates job opportunities. As for LaSalle baseball, the great Northeast Athletic Conference announced a limited return to play, so baseball is coming this year. Coming up, taking a year off.